OK, um, now the biggest club of all, of course, is Arsenal. Uh, the club that already has a trophy, <laughs> FA Cup holders and winners of uh, what used to be known as the Charity Shield. Is it now the Community Shield, Liam? It's now the Community Shield, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think much money was going to charity. <laughs> now, Liam, um, <laughs> the French player Lacazette uh, that Arsenal bought, Alexandre Lacazette from Lyon, cost 53 million euro. Um, he's in his uh, he's 26, 27, not in the French team, Liam, but um, I was just come back from France and people t- are very impressed with him. He scored a lot of goals last year and it says very quick. Well, you know, uh, he, he, he is a footballer. Uh, and we went on about Lukaku earlier on and John was saying, uh, you know, he's not going to link play up and he's not going to bring players into, the, uh, you know, his, his midfield into, into play uh, with good skill. Uh, but this guy, I think, has that. Right. He, uh, he's quick. Uh, he does come deep. Uh, and he scored a lot of goals, albeit in the French League. So I think he's a good signing for all the, all the, the money that's being spent. Uh, I think he, he's one of the better signings, and I'm looking forward to seeing him. Uh, but Arsenal's, you know, uh, in my opinion, the season depends on whether Sanchez stays or not. I think if he if he goes, a bit like Coutinho leaving Liverpool, yeah. if, if he goes, there's going to be a big void there of that kind of player who can really deliver and who the fans want to see. So, uh, as you said, this is what is a two, three weeks of the transfer window to go. Yeah. And I believe there's a lot of things going to happen. I think if Arsenal get a big offer for Alexis Sanchez, uh, they'll probably have to sell him because he doesn't seem like he wants to sign a new contract and they won't get anything for him at the end of next season. No, and I note, Liam, that for tonight's game against Leicester, He's out with uh, strained stomach muscles, um, which... Yeah, it know, seems a bit strange to me. It seems a bit strange to me. Are they, are they saying there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a transfer, uh, you know, uh, just about to happen? Um, and you look at all the big clubs, so you look at uh, Real Madrid, uh, they, they might go for him. I was reading that this morning, they might go for him. Barcelona have lost Neymar. Might they go back in for him? Probably not. Um, uh, certainly, Man City, Chelsea is the kind of player that would that would fit their their team. Uh, so I think Paris Saint Germain he could go there as well and play with yes. Neymar. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think Arsenal will sell unless they get eighty, ninety million now. Right. right. The way the way the transfer market has gone. And uh, for the season, Liam, for Arsenal fans who had such a a traumatic season last season, which ended happily, uh, beating Chelsea in the cup final. Well, they, they, yeah, they, they they played well towards the end of the season, uh, and it looks uh, if they can keep that squad as it is now, uh, that they would have a chance of being involved in the mix. If we lose Sanchez, I don't think we can be, uh, and probably the bookies have our odds about right at eleven to one. Uh, so, but I don't think Arsenal. If Sanchez. Do, it does go. I think Arsenal will do more business. Yes. Uh, they like the guy Lamar at Monaco. He could be a decent replacement. Um, so this is the world that these clubs are living in. We've gone on about Tottenham. Uh, we've gone uh, on to Arsenal. They want to balance the books. They don't want to go spending uh, mad money to get into the race with Man City, Man United and Chelsea. I mean, John, that's really the division, isn't it? As we come to the end of this preview of the season ahead, the division is really between the clubs um, that uh, are owned mm. generally by people from the Middle East, uh, Abu Dhabi, mm. uh, Qatar, uh, who are really trophy clubs and money is almost no object. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, PSG mm. is another one. That's the one... Yeah. Uh, they're, they're in one... Yeah, corner. It's, it's a survival of the fittest, Diamond. Yeah. Survival of the fittest. Whoever has the money is going to do it. And that's no. why I, I, I don't think Spurs have any chance of doing it. No, yeah, no. no. Not in this day and age. In and the Sanchez situation, I see what. Like, I, I was surprised when Wenger said, no, he's going. Because he's adamant, he's been very adamant, he's not going. Yeah. Wenger. Now, whether they're going to be tempted in, in, in next time that he's going to keep him. And I can see a certain amount of sense. When I first saw it, I thought, that doesn't sound right. And keeping Sanchez. 
Right, because I'll tell you why. Players are look he, after. He can th- walk free in twelve months. By the way, for yeah, our listeners, yeah, he don't has know to that. play for the twelve months, Simon. Yeah. See, if he had a two-year contract and said I wanted to go, and he said no, I'm not. I'm going to keep you. Uh, then he would have to let him go this season. But if he's playing, it's in Sanchez's interest to play well during the season. Simon. 